What's up guys, it's Cameron here and pretty simple video. I'm going to be showing you how to put in tracking for an order that was received on Facebook shops and market is shipped. Just a simple walkthrough click by click of how you're going to accomplish just fulfilling an order so that your customer knows it's been shipped and Facebook knows that it's been marked as shipped as well. So let's jump in and do that. But before we do, of course, like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below anything useful that you think might be useful for me, might be useful for others. If you do this a different way, I don't know how you would because this is the only way I can think of to do it. Thank you so much. Here we go. All right. So we're in my computer. I did, you can see over here, we have one order. Luckily, this makes it easy because there's only one order. So I don't have to like siphon through my orders for you. But um, it's over here on the left hand side in, in your commerce manager. You know, you have your insights and your all your messages that you probably never look at here in the center. And I'm just going to go to my email. And right here, it's it's a package from Amazon. And this is the name. So I know it's not sent to me because that's not where I live. And that's not my name. So this was a order where they ordered two items in one and this was actually a duplicate order situation i think no no it wasn't this wasn't the one before was anyway doesn't matter let's go back and verify that this order is indeed from daniel perfect and i'm not going to say the last name just know that it's a daniel all right so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to from the email itself hit track package there's a few ways you can do this. This is just the way that I do it so that I know exactly what's pulling up is exactly what was ordered. So I see the item here. It shows that it is officially shipped. This is the name and address information that you will have blurred out. And then here's the tracking number. What's kind of cool is it's from UPS. So we know we're not gonna have any issues there. Now, since I've started with shops, I haven't had any issues anyway, because even if this was Amazon Logistics and it was a TBA number, Amazon Shops accept, accepts all of that. I haven't had any issues. So I'm going to just simply copy paste this tracking number. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to our shop and we will open this order. Now I'm not going to click on it because it just gives you a window with all the information. I'm just going to actually go over to this little drop down menu right here next to the create shipping label because it says create shipping label. If you were actually selling something that I physically had, like if I was selling this, you know, silicone phone case for an iPhone or whatever, I don't know why I have this on my desk. I just do. But if I wanted to sell this on Facebook shop and I had like 20 of these bad boys just sitting in a box because I order them in bulk, then if somebody ordered something, I could hit create shipping label and print a shipping label for me to package and send to a customer. But we're drop shipping, so we're not doing that sort of thing. We will actually hit this little drop down menu and hit mark as shipped. You can see you can contact the customer here if there's any issues. You can cancel the item if you'd want to. Don't do that though. And mark as shipped. Now what's this, what this is going to do is it's going to verify, are you only shipping one of the item or both of the items? I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I, I can't think of a situation where I'd only need to do one of those, but you never know. Um, I guess if they did order multiple things and I ordered each item from multiple sources and they weren't all shipping at the same time, I suppose I could go in and click connect only one of them. Either way, I'm just going to hit continue. And this is really where the, the meat of the subject is. We're just going to simply choose a carrier and input the tracking number. So select a shipping carrier and add a valid tracking number for the shipment. Your customer's order details will be updated and they'll be able to use this info to track their items. Perfect. So this is going to tell the customer the item shipped. It's going to give them an estimated time of arrival. And it's going to tell Facebook that you shipped the item so that when it's marked as shipped, you get paid in a reasonable time afterwards through Facebook. So that's why, of course, this is important. I shouldn't need to say that. But for those of you who are new and don't really understand it, this is a crucial piece of making sure that you make money from your transaction. Because if you don't do this and Facebook auto cancels your order, which will happen eventually if you never put in the tracking number, you won't get your, your money like Facebook will just cancel it, but you've already purchased the item. So you would lose out on all that profit and the cost of the item that you shipped. So the customer would just get it for free, basically. We don't want that. We want you to make money. Let's put it in. So click the drop down menu. The first 
four are like the most common other than Amazon. Now, if this was an Amazon tracking number, which I use a lot, it just happens to not be, you can just type in Amazon and it will bring up the three Amazon things. I've never used these Amazon FBA options, even though you probably could. I always hit Amazon logistics, but I'm just showing you that as an example. What my tracking number actually is, is UPS. If you remember, we go back here, it says UPS right there. And I can just tell because it starts with a one Z that it's a UPS tracking number. Um, the longer you do this, if you aren't familiar with these things already, you can kind of tell at a glance what kind of tracking number something is after a while, just based off the length and what kind of characters are in it. So this is obviously a UPS tracking number to most of us. And I'm just going to paste it in the tracking number field. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to hit review shipment. It's just verifying. Yes, this is the tracking number we put in. This is the shipping date. So it's thinking that it shipped today, which it might have shipped today. I don't really know. But it says a notification will be sent to your customer, letting them know that their items have been shipped. Their order details will be updated with this tracking number you've added. Perfect. So it says the quantity, the thing, all the price information that it gave us before when we originally placed the order. And we're going to mark this thing as shipped and just see what happens. Now we've got the green check mark. You've marked one item as shipped and your customer was notified by email. It says one item. Remember there was two items in there. I think this is just a message for this. I think it's mainly meaning like this one shipment because the whole order has been shipped. So it doesn't really know this is the difference. Um, if you have any issues, you can contact support, but I wouldn't suggest it. I would just do your own business. I'm going to hit done. And now you can see over here what was that blue create shipping label button with the blue drop down is now a gray actions button with a drop down to either issue a refund or contact the customer. So now that item is shipped, we no longer have to do anything about it. Once it shows shipped in the system and delivered, because eventually it will show delivered to the customer. And I believe this item is arriving Tuesday and today is Sunday recording this video, but that means the customer will get this on Tuesday. Cool. So they'll get like a three day turnaround from the moment the item was shipped. Now, it took a while to get this tracking number. It, it was kind of flirting with the, the area of three business days or so when it was supposed to be put into Facebook. And you wanna make sure you input tracking numbers as quickly as possible. That's why when you get an order in, you don't wanna be waiting a long time to actually get that tracking number from them. And just to be really clear, because that was kind of confusing the way I described it. When you get an order in Facebook, you want to make sure you place that order from whatever retail supplier you're going to be using. Now, if you're using wholesale suppliers, definitely get that in. It doesn't really matter that part. But since I use Amazon a lot, I try to get orders submitted and, and fulfilled the day I get the actual order on Facebook as well. Because if I wait a business day or two from the moment the, the order was placed, to when I actually go buy it myself, that you still, no matter what, from the moment the thing's ordered on Facebook, you have three business days. You can get away with four usually, but it's like three business days is the standard. After that, they could cancel the order on their own just for you not submitting it properly. So if you already wait a business day or two, you're already one or two business days in that three day period. So it could take a couple days for you to get a tracking number from your supplier. So you don't want to be waiting one to two days and then one to two days after that. And then before you know it, you're in four days. You know, if you, if something bad happens and it's taking a little longer, it could be like five business days. So you, you just want to make sure you're getting these orders in as quick as possible so that you can just efficiently put in your tracking number as accurately as possible for time purposes. But now this order is marked as shipped and we don't have to do anything We're hands off now. The rest of this thing is just going to handle itself unless there's any problems and the customer contacts you, of course. But that's how you input tracking for an order on Facebook shops. Thank you for watching. How can you support my channel, support me while I'm creating this stuff for you guys? You can like the videos, comment down below if this is new information for you, if this is old information, or if you just have a question about how this process works or another process. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. That way, every time I put these videos out, you can have a fresh version of whatever the information is that I have for you. And if you're new to Facebook shops, I do have a course. The link is down below. Um, 
feel free to check that out. That way you can learn this as fast as possible instead of having to learn slowly over time. Of course, you can learn all this information online most likely. I mean, I have videos on all this sort of stuff on my YouTube channel, but my course just goes through everything click by click, a little bit more detailed than my YouTube channel does. So feel free to check that out. But if not, no worries. Also, you saw those orange buttons we were talking about. That's FBM Fox. It was kind of popping up. This wasn't a video about FBM Fox, but that's how I list everything really quickly. It's kind of nice because when you get an order in, instead of me copy pasting the name and copy pasting the address and then the zip code on different lines, when I go fulfill it into the into the retail supplier, I can just hit a button. It auto copies all that information. And then there's just a button when I go to like Amazon, for example, there's just a button at the top of the screen that lets me click it and it inputs all that information in there easily. And all I have to do is hit submit. I don't have to go back and forth. It saves a lot more time than you would expect. And it tracks all the pricing. It tracks all my shipments. It, it does everything for me pretty much. So I couldn't live without it. I recommend it a bunch. Link is in the description for that. I have a coupon code, of course. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.